Can you get a free phone plan with unlimited calling and texting in the United States? Yes, with TextNow you can, but there are some definite downsides, and the service has gotten a little worse since last year's review. So what is TextNow? It's an app for free calling and texting over Wi-Fi that you can use on your phone, computer, or tablet. That sounds like they're just another VoIP or voice over IP service like all of these. But what makes TextNow different and a great deal is that if you pay 99 cents to order their SIM card, you get access to talk and text with no monthly payment using the T-Mobile network. That's right, no Wi-Fi needed. That makes TextNow possibly the cheapest mobile virtual network operator or MVNO on the T-Mobile network. We'll get into the difference differences between TextNow and a full MVNO like Metro, Mint, or Cricket shortly, but I went ahead and ordered another TextNow SIM and set up a new account, which was still really easy, and gave everything a try again. Let's start with the pros of TextNow. After spending 99 cents for the SIM, it really is free to talk and text over T-Mobile's network. I haven't paid another dime for the entire year. Just make sure you have a carrier unlocked phone that's compatible with T-Mobile's network. If you're not sure about that, you can use TextNow's IMEI checker to test. Group messages picture and video messaging, and voice calls all work just fine. And that's really it. TextNow does what they claim, and it works well. And if you're finding this video helpful, please give it a like, and thank you for that. The cons all revolve around trying to use TextNow like you would a traditional wireless plan. And at the time of recording, I don't recommend paying TextNow for anything but the SIM card. And I'll come back to that. It's important to understand that TextNow is a voice over IP company first, and the nationwide T-Mobile service is still just an optional addition. That means TextNow can't guarantee guarantee access to emergency services, even when using their SIM card. And I did confirm that with customer support. It might work, but it might not. Another downside is that many companies won't accept VoIP numbers for verification or for two-factor authentication. It depends on the bank or service you're trying to use it with though, so you might be okay, especially if you can choose to receive a voice call instead of a text message for verification. Companies block voice over IP numbers to help prevent spam. So unfortunately, full verification code support is unlikely to come to text now and in the near future. I did add my TextNow number to my Google account and was able to receive a text code and that's without paying TextNow for anything else. Also, your phone number might be recycled if you don't use the service regularly. At least you'll get emailed a heads up before this happens so you can quickly go and place a call or send a text. Another con is that calls and texts can only be made through the TextNow app, which is not as full featured as a pre-installed messaging app. Your default dialer and message app will sadly no longer function. The exception is for iPhones. You can still use iMessage and FaceTime, but only on Wi-Fi and only with your Apple ID email address, not your TextNow number. Unless you pay for a monthly data plan, why do you have to use the app? So that TextNow can serve you a lot of advertisements. I'm not complaining, it's a free service. So of course they've gotta be making money somewhere, but just know, unless you pay for a subscription, your TextNow experience will be full of ads. Also with TextNow's current prices at the time of recording, do not pay for a subscription or anything else they're offering besides the SIM card. That sounds harsh, but what you you're paying for a data plan is not competitive with other MVNOs like Tello, US Mobile, Mint Mobile, or Red Pocket. Plus, you'll still face issues with verification codes and 911 services. Yes, most of the subscriptions lock in your number and remove the ads, plus a few other things, but still, I don't think it's worth it. And this is crazy. Ad Free Plus is currently listed as $6.99 a week, not per month a week. That's $28 a month with no data. So don't click that insanity. Strangely, if you were tempted to get Ad Free Plus, you could pay $9.99 a month right here. It looks like there used to be cheaper options to just lock in your number or remove some of the ads. But right now, I only see that referenced in the support pages. Truly, I'm not sure if TextNow just has some typos that it needs to clear up or if it's even being slightly deceptive. But just don't pay for anything but the SIM card and you'll probably be happy. Lastly, just keep in mind that with the 99 cent talk and text SIM, you don't get any data. So no listening to podcasts, using Google Maps, watching YouTube, or checking the weather when you're not on Wi-Fi. Now it seems like you do have a tiny amount of really slow data. It's enough to send picture and video messages, even check your email and get notifications from some apps like Instagram, but that's basically it. So is TextNow's T-Mobile SIM card a good deal? Absolutely. I don't know any other free service that works as well. Just keep in mind the downsides. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And feel free to comment with any questions you might have, and I will answer them perfectly, possibly.